In this video, we're going to look out look at how to carry out a Z test in Excel. This is going to focus on a one sample Z test. And we have 50 observations of total child nutrition per pupil expenditure. So this is the amount spent per pupil over a year at 50 individual schools. We're also provided the population variance which is 371.102. And to set this up for a z-test in Excel using this single sample, we need to set up another column that we're going to use to test. And so we're going to actually want to, we're interested in testing $545. So we want to see if the true mean of the population is equal to $545 in per pupil child nutrition expenditures. And we need to associate that 545 with each entry in our table. So just doing a little formatting here, putting borders around those values. And again, we have our population variance that we're going to need to use for our analysis. And the z-test is an appropriate test here because we have a fairly large sample. It's greater than 30, which is a common threshold. And we have the known population variance that's important to use in our analysis. This is also assuming a normal distribution that can be checked using other tests. And to carry out this test we're going to use the data ribbon and the data analysis tool pack. We're going to select the z-test to sample for means. Let me clear out our existing values here. But our variable one range is what's in column A. So we're going to select A down through row 51. For variable two, it's through row 51 up to row one. We're going to type in our variance, 371.102. We need to make sure we have labels checked because we selected the labels in row one. And for the output, we'll place this on the same worksheet here in Excel. Now we have our output from our z-test. We can see that our sample has a mean of $539.04. We're testing that against the $545 value. And we are interested again in the two-tailed test. So this is what we're interested in. And we see that we have a p-value of 0.12. That means that we're going to fail to reject the null hypothesis. And we should have stated this earlier, but we have a null hypothesis that our per pupil expenditures equals $540 and our alternative hypothesis is that the per pupil expenditures does not equal $540. So again we we fell to with this value this p value on our two tail test 0.12 we fell to reject the null hypothesis I'm sorry this should be 545 not 540 that's the value that we were testing here. So we fail to reject that null hypothesis, which leads us to say that there is not a statistically significant difference in our um, value that we calculated from our sample means and $545.